green flag is out, and it is going to be Terlecki on point as uh, Lemke falls back one or two positions. Austin Jurich goes up to second. Kardashian is going to be in the middle of three wide to exit turn number two. He's now going to slot into the fourth spot. as to make their way down into turn four, and they're still going side by side, trying to get sorted out single file. Top four is single file, though, starting to pull away, and then they're all bunched up from behind. So it's going to be Terlecki now leading the way over Austin Jurich heading into turn number six and seven. Through 12 they go. No one tries to make a pass, but here comes Jers trying to roll the inside line, gets into it, and that is going to bump Terlecki back one, almost two, as Lemke thought about trying to make a move. Now Lemke is under attack from losing a position to Alexander Kardashian. They're going to go side by side. Who's going to yield? And I think it's going to have to be Kardashian on the outside line, as now there's a possible leader change, but it's not going to be. It is still Jers in second. Terlecki leads, heading into turn number two. Nick Terlecki gets the lead back from Austin Jers coming into turn one, and now as they come up to turn four, Brandon Lemke almost got passed by Alexander Kardashian, but now he's in the clear and he's going back to P2, getting past Austin Jers coming through turn four. Emerson Reed trying to get by Alexander Kardashian for fourth in the background there. Him and Lemke and Jers. The front three from the final lap yesterday, repeating things again today through the first lap and a half. Lemke's going to look for the lead coming through turn 11. It looks like he's got the run to do it. Jers going to try to follow him through through the kink. Jers able to get to the inside of Terlecki, kind of stops it in there and gets the second position. So Brandon Lemke to the lead. Move Austin Jers to second. Move Nick Terlecki down to third. I think it's going to be nine laps to go at the line. It is going to be Lemke out in front. Jers in P2 with uh, now a peek to the inside. Let's see if he takes it. Jers is going to take the spot, and Terlecki does not follow. But here comes on the outside line, Alexander Kardashian now going to lose his spot to Cameron Doss as he falls back to fifth. Cameron Cass almost got the position there. This has been a fantastic run. Now they're going to almost go three wide. They are going to go three wide into turn four. Emerson Reed tried it. Did not work out. Cameron Cass gets the position. He is up to fourth. A sensational run. But up front it is Brandon Wimpke and Austin Jers racing each other. Jers has got himself back up to the race lead. Will we see Terlecki pull out? He's going to go for it into turn one on Wimpke. Cass can't quite follow him through. But new move Nick Terlecki, yesterday's feature winner, up to the second position coming through turn two. And now Wimpke has a decision to make. Does he push Ter does he push Terlecki or does he stay and try to make a move there? As we continue to watch the top two, that is Austin Jers leading with Nicholas Terlecki and P2. And now the third place, here comes Lemke, trying to see if he can't get his nose in on. Uh, that is going to be Nicholas Terlecki for P2 as they make their way down to turn number four. As we see Lemke now going for the second place, back on Terlecki. He makes the move stick. So move Brandon Lemke back to second place right behind Austin Jers. Lemke's back into it. We'll have to see if Brandon's going to try to make a move on this time around. He's going to go around the outside of the kink again. And now he's got the position. So a nice move on Austin Jers. Jers gets it back into turn 13. But now Lemke's going to be the one getting shuffled. As now Terlecki gets himself back up to the second. Cass tried to make a move on the outside. Could not make it stick. And now that's brought Kardashian and Emerson Reed right back into the fray. As we head down the main straightaway. Four laps to go. Nick Terlecki to the lead. Ahead of Austin Jers. Jers tries to switch him back. He's going to send it into the turn two. They go side by side. A little bit of a nudge there. And that brings Lemke back into second. It's all playing out here, but Austin Jers has maintained his lead. Yeah, all this back and forth hustling and tussling has allowed uh, both Reed and Kardashian to close back up as Kardashian trying to see if he can uh, capitalize off of the balance happening out front between Cass and uh, and now here tries on the inside. There goes Kardashian. Count him up into fourth. He's able to get around Cass. Looks like he's going to bring Reed with him this time across the line. Austin Jers leads into one. Hot on his tail as Lemke fall by Terlecki. Here comes Lemke on the inside. Gets a little loose. Terlecki with the two for one. He goes to the point. And now onto the back bump of your former leader of Austin Jers comes Alexander Kardashian heading into four. Sensational stuff there for Nicholas Terlecki. He took advantage of Lemke's aggressive move and got himself back up to the lead. But now Kardashian is right in the fight. Jers takes a peek to the inside of Lemke for second. Cannot make a stick through seven. And now Nick Terlecki. Back in the lead of the race, heading up through the hill, up towards turn 10. There's only three laps to go in this one. It has gone by fast, and Terlecki leads a four-cart train. Lemke, he's made multiple moves in this kink. Is he going to make a third one? He does. Another one. Now he's going to bring Jers with him, coming through turn into turn 13. Jers going to take him to the lead. Ooh. Kardashian and Terlecki make contact on the exit of the turn 13 into 14. That's cost them a load of time. It's Jers versus Lemke as they come down the straight. Jers crowding Lemke all the way down to the inside of the track. But it's going to be Brandon Lemke taking the lead into turn one. Emerson Reed's found his way up to third. In the meantime, but somehow Bryce Mersberger is throwing the party. It is a seven-cart train, train led by Lemke at the front. 
Yeah, they're all over the place here in the top eight, that is. They haven't really broken up as there's now two laps to go. White flag is going to be next time by as there's another pass on the inside for the fourth spot. So as of now, it sits Lemke, Jers P2, and then somehow Bryce Bershberger has caught up to that main group as they're still going side by side. Three wide for a moment. A little bit of hustle and tussle. I don't think uh, Kardashian liked that at all. Tulecki third as he is still under attack. Kardashian getting into the back bumper a little bit. I think that's of Cameron Reed as they make their way through turns 15. Now it's going to push Kardashian to the outside. Drops the wheel. He is now out of sight of the main pack. They're going to drive away. This time by, white flag is in the air. Door to door across the line. Lemke and Jers go side by side. Here comes Bryce Mersberg. From the back of the field, now he's into third, trying to roll the outside line of Terlicki. He's got to get his elbows out as he is not going to slot back into the third place, heading into turn four. Where has Bryce Merschberger come off the whole weekend? Now he's in the top three. Lemke continues to lead, though, ahead of Austin Jers. He's going to go defensive into turn seven. Will he leave the door open like yesterday? He does not. Cameron Cass makes a move for fourth in the background, but that is probably going to do them out of the lead contention. But in the meantime, it is Austin Jers and Brandon Lemke. Your two championship leaders, neck and neck in the points. They're neck and neck on track right now, heading through turn 10. Lemke just has five more corners to manage as he comes down through the kink into turn 12. Brandon Lemke now leading ahead of Austin Jers. Is he going to go defensive? He does into turn 13. Lemke parks the bus on the apex. Jers going to try something, doesn't have the run. Now as they head out of the final corner, it is going to be a drag race to the line yet again for the second time in two days. Brandon Lemke, Austin Jers, dear championship leaders, fighting for the line. Lemke gets the win by 35 one thousandths of a second. An awesome run. Bryce Mersberger comes home to take third position ahead of Cameron Cass and Nicholas Terlecki. What a show put on by this KA100 senior, sponsored by Walter Racing and Engines Class.